May God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope of the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 15 verses 13. Respected fathers, elders, teachers, and my dear brothers and sisters, I'm Christina Johns here to talk on spirituality, the key to the problems of our age. We all might have heard of this word called spirituality, but only a few of us know the actual meaning. So, what is spirituality? Spirituality is the quality of being concerned with the human spirit or soul as opposed to material or physical things. Some may find that their spiritual life is intricately in association with their temple, church, mosque or synagogue. Others may pray or find comfort in a personal relationship with God or higher power. Still, others seek meaning through their connections to nature or art. Like your sense of purpose, your personal definition of spirituality keeps on changing throughout your life, adapting to your own experiences and relationships. The modern human society is filled with challenging problems such as terrorism, environmental issues, pollution, unethical practices, religious intolerance, etc. Even birds and animals are suffering because of deforestation, littering in rivers, due to which a few of them have been extinct. It is recognized that it is our duty to ensure a bright and better future for the coming generations. Religion has three major functions in society. It provides social cohesion to help maintain social solidarity through pro uh, shared rituals and beliefs. Social control to enforce religious-based morals and norms to help maintain conformity and control in society. And it offers so. Positive beliefs, comfort and strength gained from religion, meditation and prayer can contribute to well-being. It may even promote healing. Improving your spiritual health may not cure an illness but will surely help you feel better. I would like to share a common question asked nowadays. Why it is necessary for the youth to be spiritually strong? Here's the answer. Youth of today's era must stay positive and spiritually strong so they can gain faith on things with proper understanding. Youth are more in number in the worldwide population in the present day and a lot of challenges come in their path which can lead to, to the state where everything can be negative. This can lead to spiritual distress. Hence, we can say that if we are spiritual, we can easily and confidently overcome obstacles that come in our way. I would like to end my speech with a quote. Spiritual things are spiritually disarmed. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 14.